for giving me this opportunity. Uh, my our study is uh, title is epithelial ovarian cancer and real world outcomes. Next slide, please. Uh, the main patients included in the study are the patients who underwent either surgery or at least received two cycles of chemotherapy at our center. And this study is coordinated between the departments of medical oncology, gynecology, and surgical oncology at our center. Next slide, please. Uh, coming to the uh, flow chart, flow sheet, uh, from January 2015 to August 2019, 435 patients were uh, uh, of ovarian cancer patients were enrolled. And among them, 390 patients were epithelial ovarian cancer patients. The most important thing which we have to highlight here is, uh, among these patients, 15% of the patients, that is a very significant number of patients, have uh, defaulted uh, before uh, before starting the treatment or uh, receiving after receiving one cycle of chemotherapy. And at, uh, at the end, 290 patients were included in the final analysis. Next slide, please. Uh, most of the patients in this study are advanced stage ovarian cancer with uh, 83% and uh, more than 40% of the patients presented with poor performance status of uh, two or more. Uh, next slide, please. Among the patients uh, who received the treatment, uh, only 75% of the patients have received the surgery. 25% of the patients didn't had surgery during the first line therapy. And among the patients who received the surgery, the optimal cytoreduction rate was around 50%. Most commonly used chemotherapy regimen is a combination of paclitaxel and carboplatin. And if you see among the patients who underwent, underwent surgery, uh, there is no, uh, there is about 10% difference in the optimal cytoreduction rate in the patients who received a near joint chemotherapy. Next slide, please. Uh, you can see the median uh, progression-free survival is 19 months and uh, median OAS is uh, 39 months. It includes both stage 1, advanced, early stage and uh, advanced stage ovarian cancer patients. Next slide, please. On multivariate analysis, the important factor which uh, affected the uh, progression-free survival and overall survival are the surgery. And along with surgery, uh, stage has an important uh, uh, stage has an effect on uh, progression-free survival. And in the down, we can see an uh, uh, images which was uh, in the images we can see a nice division of the curves between the patients who underwent surgery and uh, who didn't have surgery in the progression free survival and overall survival. Next slide, please. Uh, this summarizes this table summarizes the important uh, data about epithelial ovarian cancer from our country, uh, which included patients of more than uh, 20, more than 100 participants. Uh, there is a lot of heterogeneity between the studies. Uh, between the patients who underwent surgery and uh, the optimal cytoreduction rate. Uh, despite of all these uh, things, uh, there is uh, our progression-free survival and uh, overall survival are similar to the uh, Tata group studies, with uh, which is about uh, 19 months and uh, 40 months of overall survival. The important outcomes which we have noted in this uh, study is uh, uh, epithelial and ovarian cancer is a very difficult to treat cancer in our setting, mainly because of the patients presenting with uh, advanced stage and uh, uh, in the uh, with poor performance status at the time of our presentation, and another important factor which uh, affects the outcome is the surgery. And uh, in a real world setting, in our data, around 25 percent of the patient didn't receive surgery due to various reasons. Most various reasons, most of the reason is uh, they are unfit for the surgery. Most common reason is, and uh, this is the largest real world data from our country in the newly diagnosed epithelial and ovarian cancer patients. And the page, another important uh, finding which we found out is 15% uh, of the patients are defaulted with, before starting the treatment. It is very important to improve the outcomes in our setting. And uh, we, are, uh, we are using different methods of social economic support groups to improve the improve, uh, outcomes in our, uh, in our patients. Uh, uh, we are using this real world data to improve the outcomes in our future patients which we are going to treat. In, uh, which we are going to treat.